Hello, my name is Ricky McKinney, aka Mr. Personality, and you're at the world famous Dance 401 Studio, where you can find me teaching these lessons. I am born and raised from St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, I actually have always been surrounded around the arts. I went to arts elementary school, I went to arts middle school, I went to arts high school, and I graduated from the University of the Arts. Um, I always say dance actually saved my life because during middle school times, I was um, in a battle between um, not knowing who I was as a person as well as wanting to commit suicide because I was going through some personal things involving um, being molested and raped. Um, and one of the ways where I allowed myself to show my emotions was always through dancing. Um, and I always felt as though that was where I could be myself, but also release some of those inner turmoils and pains that I was going through that I couldn't necessarily talk about um, or express, but the way I expressed it was through my dancing. Debbie Allen, it really taught me to be multifaceted, um, not one di one dimensional, because I know as dancers, we think styles. I just want to be a hip hop dancer, I just want to be a ballet dancer, I want to be a salsa dancer, but as a professional dancer, you need to be almost like a, I would say an assassin or a ninja, where you have many different weapons up under your belt. Your weapons are styles. Um, and in order to go to the battle, the audition, you got to be equipped. And the only way to be equipped is multidimensional. And I can definitely say I'm one of those dancers that are versatile. So I decided I need to go to a community or an area that will allow me to be me, but also be inspired by many people that are just like me. I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try Atlanta. Once I arrived to Atlanta, word on the street was, Ricky, you gotta go to the top dance studio. I'm like, what? Well, what's the top dance studio in Atlanta? I know about Atlanta Ballet. They're like, no, baby. I'm talking about the top commercial studio where you can find all different avenues of classes and find some of the top choreographers that are booking dancers on tours and booking dancers on music videos. They told me, you gotta go to Dance for One Studios. So I did some research and definitely found out exactly what they said. They're the best of the best in the world. They have some of the top choreographers and producing some of the top dancers. But one thing I felt as though they could have had a touch of was a little bit more personality, me, and a lot more technique. So I decided to come to Dance Forum Studios and give them just that. Probably one of the most memorable experiences for me was um, when I had a master class at Dance Forum Studios. I was doing a Leaps, Legs, and Turns master class. And I had a couple um, well-known world-renowned dancers in, that, in there, but majority of my dancers were beginner dancers, just learning dance or just was inspired to come and take a dance class. And one dancer in particular was a dancer that didn't have the necessary look of being a dancer. And I say that because when she walked in, I remember all of the students looked at her and they had this look of, what is she doing in here? And the reason why they probably were looking at her is because she was a little, she didn't meet the dancer's image body. She was a more voluptuous, more fuller woman. Um, and the perception that they gave was, oh, she is not going to bring it. I mean, it was crazy, but during class, this girl had so much passion where she was doing things that even myself, I even have problems with doing it. And it inspired not only me, but it inspired the whole class because their mouth went from to, oh, like this gagging experience. And to me, that was so enriching just to show that no matter what size or no matter what look you are, if you have passion for dance, you can be a dancer. And if you really want to dance, 
All you have to do is bring your butt to dance for one studio so where you can come and get your life. Do me a favor, right arm is forward, left arm is back, both feet are parallel. The goal is for you to have your back heel going as high as possible instead of allowing yourself to cheat and show a arch that isn't there. When your heel is going down to the ground, it's considered to be flat footed. You want to show off the arch by pressing that heel higher. One thing I came to realize is that I have the ability to educate, cultivate, and train the average person on not just their body, but their mind and soul. Um, pertaining to their body, you can find stretching, you can find cardio, you can find multiple reps doing a lot of the same movement that will physically get you to where you want to be. So if you want to be leaner and more toned, you definitely need to take my class. If you want to build more muscle strength, you definitely need to take my class. If you're trying to just gain more flexibility and more range of movement, you definitely need to come and take my class. Make sure to stop by and check out my class, Leaps, Legs, and Turns, with the one and only Ricky, Mr. Personality, where you can come and get your leg up. And whenever you're ready. Hello, once again, I'm Ricky Miss. <laughs> 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 okay. Talk about the big girl. Talk about the big girl. <laughs> trying to set me up. He's <laughs> like, he's sick and he's all little. But, uh, Older. Older, yeah. The... I said older. I said older later, right? <laughs> I said the older ladies. You said older. You said older. Damn. <laughs>